What's going on, everybody? This is Al, and I am back with another Create a School video. This time, I have created the South Alabama Jaguars. This has been a very popular request for quite some time now, and I'm happy to finally put this one together. So let's jump right into it. We start off with the primary and secondary color. The primary color I picked was their blue, of course. I went to the far right blue and edited that one. And the RGB is 0, 32, and 91. They call it the USA blue, a.k.a. University of South Alabama blue. And their secondary color is their red. They call it USA red, and it's 191, 13, and 62. Now, I'm a big stickler for having the end zone art look to be exact i like because you're going to see that a ton you know all your home games you're going to see that a lot and you're actually going to see that more than the helmet logos and the reason why i bring that up is because the school logo is about the hardest thing for me to replicate for this particular team you notice i picked the jackson state tiger logo it's a feline looking animal of course it's a tiger but it's white and it's got the blue border now, you can go with this, or you can go with the generic Jaguar. Now, the reason... Now, this looks really cool. It looks fierce. You could change that color to white. The problem is, you have to change the primary color to white to make it look like that. And if you change the primary color, then that really messes up your end zone art. And I'd rather have the end zone art be more exact than whatever the helmet logo is. That's why I went with the Jackson State logo, and I'm perfectly fine with it. But it, by all means, you can pick that Jaguar uh, generic logo if you want. I couldn't find any other type of logo that would represent or anywhere get close to that helmet. Technically, they use a different logo for the helmet. It's just the Jags, J-A-G-S. But we cannot replicate that in this game whatsoever. We can't get close. So I went with the best of what I could find and what I was pleased with which again is the Jackson State logo. Feel free to change it how you please. Nickname at the Jaguars, school name South Alabama. Abbreviated name, I went with USA. I went and looked up several other games this year and just to look to see what ESPN would put at the bottom. They went with S Alabama, South AL. I just went with USA because I like the look of it and that was what was on their uh, color code scheme. So I was perfectly fine with that. You can change that to however you wish. They're from Mobile, Alabama. You go to Alabama, and they are located all the way down here. They are definitely South Alabama. Go right there. And when it comes to playbook and team type, you pick whatever that's up to you whenever you create your team. Rival school is Troy, and there was another school. I forgot what it was, but I went with Troy because that's an in-state school and they are technically a rival of theirs so that's what i went with fight song for all those you know who watched a lot of my creative school videos i don't bother with this anymore it gets too ocd to try to find something exact so i don't bother with it mascot as usual good luck finding a mascot that replicates what the actual mascot is so i just went with none i could not find one that came close to their actual mascot let's go to the stadium their stadium name is the Hancock Whitney Stadium. Now, that's a mouthful. I could not add the word stadium at the end. You could abbreviate that however you wish. It's up to you. Now, the stadium was another one that was kind of hard for me to replicate because it's technically, it goes all the way around. But if you go with an all the way around, like a bowl shape, you're going to get a stadium type of like 80,000, you know, capacity. Their capacity for their real stadium is like 25,000. So I went with the closest thing I could find that still had a bit of a square look. Because if you look at their stadium, it's actually eight-sided. It's like 45-degree angles in the corners. Having said all that, I just went with the square, mainly because it fit the capacity, and I was perfectly fine with that. They, the orientation is north and south. From what I could tell, the scoreboard and video screen were both in the south end zone. Press box was on the west side. Field surface, I went with grassy turf this time. I guess that's considered the modern look for a lot of these uh, fields nowadays. Midfield logo, I went with their, the base logo. 25-yard logo, I didn't put anything there. End zone art, again, I really enjoy the end zone art and trying to get it pretty close. And 
thankfully there's so many different types of combinations you can use in this game to where you can get pretty close and as you can tell by what they have on their real field it's the blue south alabama with the red background they don't have a track around their field and i went with the campus backdrop now let's go to the uniforms they are like any other school just trying to make it in the fbs that's new to the fbs and that is they got a ton of different color combinations but you know they got mainly blue and red a lot of it's red you go down to the very bottom here my default home uniform was just the red jersey with the white pants and the helmet pretty much stays the same throughout but you can go with red with blue uh pants you can go with red on red i mean you can just kind of do whatever you want to but i went with some of the images that i could find on the internet so we'll go up to the very top helmet style i went with short stripe and logo now you'll notice with the stripe it's actually backwards in real life the broad side of the stripe is actually at the front of the helmet not the back but I like the look of this short stripe. Otherwise, I would have had to go in with a full stripe. I didn't like the look of it because their entire uniform setup is basically a modern setting. So that's what I went with was just a short stripe with the logo. I wanted to put something on the helmet. Every helmet that I saw them wear had a logo of some sort. And again, we can't use Jags. And the, our best option was a white feline look of some sort. And I went with, of course, the Tiger because of the color combination I mentioned earlier. So white helmet, red stripe. You can see everything I got here. Just a bunch of red throughout. Classic jersey type. From what I could tell, they didn't use any pride stickers. The sleeves, I went with the sleeve numbers and style number two. You can change this up if you wish. This is the most modern style I could find. You don't have many options. There's like a total of five. But I was more than happy with style number two. Number and name white. Thankfully, their primary color, the navy blue, is dark enough to be black to where we can just go ahead and use the outline color of black for their numbers. It just makes it look a little bit easier in 06 so you, you can avoid that border glitch. Otherwise, it's supposed to be blue. Chest logo, what I could find, it was like conference and stuff. And we can't put that on there, so I just left it at none. Player name is on. Pants style, they didn't do anything fancy with their default home uniform, so I kept it plain. The pants color are white. Hip logo, I did notice for this particular one, it was on the right hip. Belt color, from what I could tell, it looked the same as the pants. Sock style, I just went short and sock color white along with the shoe color of white. So the default home uniforms, I think, look pretty good. They're really close to what I could find, and I'm pretty pleased with it. So now let's go to the way uniform. Nothing changes other than you are switching out the color of the jersey. Now it's just white. Everything else stays the same. You can see all the helmet information, the jersey type. The jersey color is the only difference, and of course, the number and name changes to red instead of white. So change the number to red change the jersey to white and everything else should stay the same you can see all the pants belt hip logo all that good stuff will stay exactly the same i'm always a big fan of the stormtrooper look i'm a big tennessee volunteer fan that's what i grew up on was that all white look i think it looks pretty slick so that is the default away uniform and now let's go to the altar this is where you can get pretty funky with things the coolest one I could find was this right here. They added a whole lot more blue to the uniform. You go up to the very top. We still got the same helmet style, same color, but the stripe is now blue. It's still the same type, but it is now blue. And I also changed the face mask color to blue. That's what they showed on the image. I should have one on the right there somewhere. And pride sticker, that stays the same. Their jersey type is a little different on this one. I noticed it's technically like a double leave it's like a red and a blue or red and a white this was the closest one i could find where it was like a thicker red stripe with a thin white one on top of course in our version we got a white one underneath it but that's as close as i could get to it and i think it looked pretty cool so jersey color blue sleeve stripe one uh, is red and number two is white shoulder and sleeve from what i could tell they didn't even have a number on it on the top on the side anywhere 
you can add one if you want to, but I left it as plain because that's what I could tell. That's what they went with. Number and name, white with black border. And the only difference you will see at the bottom from pants down is we have a short stripe pants style. They technically have one. It's like barely a foot and a half long. It's mostly red with a little bit of blue. We cannot replicate that here in terms of the short stripe look. I like the short stripe because it matches really well with the stripe on top on the helmet in terms of it being short. So I went with the red because that's what they showed most on that particular setup. Pants color white, pants stripe, again, is red hip logo. From what I can tell, they didn't have one for this one, so I just took it off. So at least you'll notice there's a little bit of differences for each one of these in terms of hip logos, in terms of face mask color, things of that nature. Belt color white, sock style short, sock color and shoe color are both white. So I think that's a pretty cool looking alternate. I did so I did find another one where they had red pants that went with this blue jersey. So you may want to use that one instead if you want to add a whole lot of color to this setup. And last but not least is alternate number two. There is no difference between this and our default away except the pants and the belt. Everything else, I kept exactly the same. So you go up to the very top. We got the short stripe. It's still red. Again, every bit up the top, the helmet and the jersey is all exactly the same as the default away uniform. It's then we get to the pants is where things get a little different. Pants color red. Hip logo, if you notice on the picture I should have to the right, they have the logo on the left hip for whatever reason. I don't know why they done it. But they did, so that's what I went with. Belt color, I always tend to match it with the pants. Short socks, uh, so sock color and shoe color, I kept those as white. From what I could tell, that's what they used. So that is it for all four of the uniforms. I think they all came out pretty well. Again, you can get really crazy with the color combos. Do however you want to. But I like my four uh, combo. I think it looks pretty cool. And here we have our default home uniform i think this looks great out on the field one thing i did not mention before is you notice how bright the face mask color was when you were editing your school out here it's more accurate it's a little bit darker red so i'm glad that worked out the way it did otherwise the default look i think is great the red jersey and white everything else with the red stripe on the helmet i think that looks pretty slick nice and modern i'm perfectly fine with the font style for the numbers it's a little bit bigger compared to what they use in real life i wish we could use the oklahoma state font style if you go back and look at oklahoma state's jerseys you see what i'm talking about it really is close to the real thing with what south alabama likes to use but i like the look of the default home and you can see here is the default away just your stormtrooper look pretty slick i like every bit of that for sure and here we have our alternate home uniform. It looks a whole lot like Auburn. It just now occurred to me that it's got a lot of a big Auburn feel to it, but it's got the red instead of the orange and such. But I really like the looks of it. It's a little bit different than the you know default home. I just not of course the blue is different than the red. But I like the color combo with the red stripe on the pants to complement the jersey. I just think it looks pretty cool. I think it came out just fine. And to be honest, if you put a red uh, pants on this one, it may come out even, looking even better. But that's up to you however you want to do that. Now we can go over here to their alternate away uniform. It's no different than the default away uniform, except we just got red pants now. But I like the looks of that as well. Again, switch it up. Put blue pants on this guy if you want to. There's a lot of combinations you can go with this. So now let's look at the stadium. Here we have the default or the uh, the logo at the center field. I think it looks pretty cool. Again, switch it up if you want to. But the reason why I went with that, as I've said it a couple times already, is because I like the look of the end zone. I think that came out a whole lot better. If I had to put white as the primary color, we would not be able to replicate the red background with the blue lettering. It just wouldn't have worked out. We go to the other side. It should be the same thing, but again, I think it came out really well. And then we can look at 
the stadium. It's the square. It's the four-sided. Again, I would like to have put a full-blown uh, bowl around it, but that's when we got into like a seating of 80,000. If you want to do a long dynasty with this team and you want to pretend like, hey, this team is doing so well, they're adding on to the stadium over the years, then go with it. Go with that. By all means, do it. But I like the looks of all this. The scoreboard and the screen on one end. There's the press box on the west side. I think every bit of that came out looking pretty good. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. I think it's a pretty fun build to put together. I wish the logo would have been a little more exact. Like I would have been really pleased if I could have replicated the Jags itself. But we couldn't. But that's okay. I'm happy with the way that looked out. Uh, looks anyways. The uniforms, all that good stuff. I think it's a good combo all around. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.